Continuing now with our lead story, the debt crisis is getting personal with specialized programs like Planned Parenthood and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting under fire. With now Erica Payne, the founder of the Agenda Project, a liberal organization. From Los Angeles, Leslie Marshall, a Fox News analyst. Leslie, how are you feeling today? How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling great, okay. but I'm not feeling great about these cuts. No, with no, Planned Leslie, Parenthood, just, just take though. it one at a time. I'm, I'm a simple man with simple <laughs> questions. You feeling great? Are you feeling great, Leslie? I'm feeling great. Okay, good. <laughs> because I was worried about you and Erica because there is an all out assault on women's health. And I wonder if that has reached you, if your health is being impacted by the fiscal responsibility debate. Mine isn't, but I'm not one of, and I have been, the lower income women that I feel that this uh, attack has uh, affected and clearly will affect. What attack? Remember, Bill, that. Well, the, the finances of Planned Parenthood, two-thirds of the federal money that Planned Parenthood has and uses is for preventative care, whether it's screening for cancer in breasts, the ovaries, the cervix, the uterus, whether that's a it's very worthy, care, that's a infertility worthy, That's a counts. very worthy thing, is it not? Isn't that very worthy? It is very, it is, it is very worthy. Well, then why, if it's, if it's worthy, and, I, and I agree with you that, you know, any kind of, of uh, advice we can give and uh, to make people's lives better, uh, why can't you raise the money privately? I'm sure you could have a big uh, party at your mansion and get all your liberal friends in L.A. to give a lot of money. You know, we raised for the Fisher House in two days a quarter of a million dollars. And I'm going to tell people about that later on for the military families. Well, you could do that, and Erica could do that. You could raise all that money privately, could you not? Uh, no, I couldn't. You I mean, first couldn't? of all, you know, you know, Bill, for every dollar a Democrat gets, a Republican gets six more. Please. No, I, I don't I have want, a mansion, I and, I, and I wish I'd give the money. I would give the money myself. But no, Planned Parenthood has federal funds that are utilized for people in this country but you don't that want to are cut lower that income. They can't you, afford the you, you insurance, and they can't back. afford the physicians. You don't want to cut it back. I don't, I, I don't want to okay. cut that back. Eric, I understand you? You those who don't want to contribute to abortion, no, look, but I don't uh, want to cut the other Let's just keep it out. I don't want... I don't want public money to go to any of these things. I think they all should be private. What do you say? Well, the fact of the matter is, Bill, I think the world would be a really different place if when two people had sex, you didn't know which one was going to get pregnant. And right now we have a Senate that's dominated by men, a House that's dominated by men. But this is a men. women's issue. And that's exactly right. So this, have a these bunch fiscal of men cuts, trying to decide a women's issue. Cuts. So you buy into that this is a, a, a possible, this is an all-out assault on women's health. You're buying into that. I think that it's a really big problem for an, a basically male Senate and a basically so male it's not House about to the cut country, funding for women's so health. So, for you, it's not about the country's fiscal well-being that we owe $14 trillion. This is an assault by bad men in the Senate, which actually wouldn't go along with this. It would be bad men in the House, um, <laughs> on women. Well, you know, women are really the backbone of the American family, and so I think anything we can do to support them and support their health and With the well-being of them and their families, 100%. Think of how much money you save when you have a good, strong mom at home. Okay, so support all the women with public funding. With public funding. And you got to support the kids with public funding. You see where this never ends. It never ends. It just keeps going on, and we don't have any money. Well, you know, but I mean, we do have money, and I think we the question that we have to ask as a society trillion, we don't have any. is how are we going to spend that money? No, we don't have any. We owe $14 trillion, Eric. Well, we, we owe have $14 trillion, but yeah. it's actually a smaller percentage of GDP. What is that? That doesn't mean anything. We it, owe it actually, $14 trillion it does that we mean don't something, have. Because if, I, if I'm a family yeah. and I'm carrying some credit card debt, if I have $3,000 on a $100,000 income and I can manage that, but if you, if then you I have can to, manage that. It doesn't mean you that I'm more in, money. Once I'm you, in the Once hole. you max out your credit card, you won't get any more. But, See, but the United States never maxes out because we can borrow money from China. Now, Leslie, let me look. I'm trying to make this point because both of you liberal ladies, as well-intentioned as you both are, okay, not getting the fiscal crisis, not getting it, not seeing it, not uh, accommodating it, not getting creative solutions to deal with it. So you know I'm... Wait. I, I, don't, I, don't agree. I don't agree with that, Bill, because if you don't allow the people, lower-income people that cannot afford the insurance, that cannot afford out-of-pocket for the doctors, to go into these clinics like Planned Parenthood and get free birth control and counseling, to do it, they're going to end up pregnant, they're going to end up on welfare, and we're going to pay for it on the other okay. side, Bill. But so I want this it is a privately done. Privately done. I'll give you the last word, Eric. $300 million in the federal budget of $3 trillion is a very small price to pay for healthy moms. For healthy moms. Okay. Ladies, thanks for the lively debate. We appreciate it.